Hello bots, how are you guys doing? Today, I'll give you an update on how to include sound for this HDMI video capture card. If you're new here, the reason we have this is because a few months back, I posted an unboxing video that also shows you how to set up this device. But the thing is, most of you are still having trouble including audio with your game captures. So in this video, I'll show you two setups that you can choose from. So make sure to watch till the end to find out which is the right setup for you. By the way, before we begin, if this video helps you out, you can let me know by hitting like. That way, I'll know what type of videos to make for you guys next. As always, we'll start with making sure that we have all that we need. For this setup, I'm using OBS Studio as the broadcasting software for the capture card. Next, we have the capture card hooked up to the computer. And then we'll use a TRS cable with two female ends and a NOx cable with two male ends. Now let's get started with the setup. We'll begin with OBS Studio. At this point, let's assume that you're done with setting up your video game capture card. So I'll proceed to show you the audio settings. From here, we'll add another source. Do that by clicking on the plus sign here under Sources. And then select Audio Input Capture. In this instance, to make it easier to remember, I'll name it Capture Card Audio. And then press OK. Next, under Device, choose Digital Audio Interface. Right-click on the Audio Mixer part of OBS. Click Advanced Audio Properties. And then look for Capture Card Audio. That's the name that we used earlier. Then set it as Monitor Only. And then click Close. By this time, you should already hear the audio and it'll be included in your game capture. However, if you want to listen to the game audio through your PS4 controller while maintaining the sound for your game capture, here's what you need to do. Now let's move to your PS4. Go to the settings of your PS4 and then go to Devices. Click Audio Devices. And then set Output Device to TV or AV Amplifier. Remember the TRS cable and AUX cable I mentioned earlier? You'll need to plug that TRS cable into your PS4 controller. And then have your headset connected to one end and the AUX cable at the other end. Now the other end of the AUX cable, you'll have to connect that to your computer. And that's it. You're all set. You can now listen to your game audio while maintaining the sound for your game capture. Now here's a video game recording based on the settings we just did. So there you have it. That's how you include sounds in your video game recordings and live streams. If you have a suggestion or maybe a simpler setup than this, we'd love to hear more about it and try it out here as well. So feel free to share it to everybody by leaving a comment below. If you're new to the channel, now's the best time for you to subscribe and ring that notification bell to keep you updated with tips like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.